Men are not attending singles events. Men are walking away from women. I would love if we could be honest and rebrand singles events as the truth, which is a perfect place to meet your brand new platonic best friend. Men don't go to these. Men do not go to singles events. Stop paying money to go to singles events. Men don't go. Stop it. Hey ladies, this is a good piece of advice for you. Stop wasting your money on those singles events. Dudes don't come to those events anymore. You're throwing away your money when you could be putting it towards something actually worthwhile, like paying your bills. And let's get real here. You're already paying a price for turning down every guy who's ever had the guts to approach you. So why would you add insult to injury by throwing even more money down the drain at these events? Save your money because you will need it to keep surviving. Huh, I ain't messing with you because the last time you invited me to your church's singles event, it was all women there. Uh-uh. Girl, might as well have been a ladies night or something. We had a good time the last time, remember? What I remember was that we spent half the time praying for husbands when the husband uh -huh. should have been there that night at the event. No. You're I'm being dramatic. Doing. It was a few dudes there. It was three guys there, and two of them were there with their girlfriend. And then the other one was there with his wife. I was single. Zero. It wasn't that bad. I'm you ever hear these modern women whining about how freaking annoying and depressing it is to hit up singles events, only to find out there are barely any dudes there? Yeah, they're all up in arms, talking about demanding refunds because the damn event was a complete bust and didn't deliver what they wanted. Well, guess what, ladies? You can thank yourselves for that mess. Because all the real men who had any sense have stopped bothering with these lame-ass events. Now they're just sad gatherings for a bunch of disappointed single women who can't even find a decent man to take home. It is okay to say the absence of men has turned single events into women's conferences since men are no longer present in such events. It is now evident to modern women and feminists that they need men for the world and their world to run. Otherwise, they should not be bothered. We all believed that modern women claimed to be the prize and that they didn't need men. The prize, after all, is never plentiful. Well, if one gender is missing from a singles event and it cannot serve its purpose, then that gender wins. It's just a clear thought that modern women find challenging to comprehend. This is a great conversation and the answer is rejection. You see, you bring in, if you had a singles event, let's just say you brought in a hundred women and a hundred men without having some kind of preference checklist to, for them all to meet before coming there, you're gonna have a majority of women be attracted to a minority of men at these things. So majority of men already know they're gonna be wasting their time and they're just, it's just gonna be you know just rejection after rejection after rejection while this minority of men are being fought over for by all the women. And men experience this while going out to bars and whatnot, they see it happen all the time so that's it that's the biggest reason is just rejection so it's a waste of time for them if we start to consider the reason for men's absence in singles events we will realize that modern women push men out themselves single get-togethers are another victim of modern women's delusion and diversion from reality and as a result men are walking away from women it amazes me that modern women who couldn't find men and had to succumb to single events still come to this event to be picky and reject. It's like going to a grocery store and selecting the best fruit and not being apologetic about it. So in singles events, 80% of the women move on 10 to 20% of the men. The more reason why men are pissed off is because many of the women present at these events are not worth the standards they demand from men. Imagine a woman who can't find a man, but gets a chance because a person organizes an event to meet men and she gets there to reject eight in 10 of the men present in that event. I say a woman of value, a traditional and feminine woman, does not need to go to these events to secure a man because she is not regular. Women of actual value are scarce in today's world. Thus, when men arrive at these single events, it is discouraging that the ladies do not justify their choices in men. If a woman wants a top 10% guy, she should be the type of woman that a top 10% male would want to be with. However, these single events are filled with ladies who have overestimated their worth. Many men are devastated when a woman rejects them, especially if she is someone he would never approach or look at twice if it weren't for such incidents. So I have to cancel the singles event that I planned to be on my farm this weekend. Y'all know I'm an event planner and I have a fish farm and I advertised a fishing for love event where singles could come here and fish and have dinner 
and meet each other in person, not on a dating app. And five women RSVP'd yes, and one man. And even the one man that did RSVP did it through one of the ladies. Now I did all of my marketing specifically towards men because I knew that the women would RSVP. I promoted the event on 45 different Facebook groups specifically about hunting, fishing, camping, country life, and all local to my area. I know that my post reached over 12,000 people specific to the age group, the gender, and the interest that I just described. And yet, no man RSVP'd. I found out that many of these single events are free for women to attend. This means that men must pay to be rejected. It would be more cost-effective to watch your favorite team play than to attend these events, as I think you're more likely to meet a nice woman who shares your interests there than at the pointless singles events. As someone once told me, the best place to find your significant other is where you least expect. Paying roughly $1.100 to be turned down by remaining women is a horrible investment. It is a waste of cash, time, and energy. Here's what ticks me off about guys hitting up singles events. It screams loud and clear that they can't score a date the normal way. They're desperate, scraping the bottom of the barrel, hoping for some miracle at these events. Real men, ha, huh, they're too damn busy living their lives, surrounded by women who actually want them. We're all supposed to be real men, aren't we? So why the hell are some of us resorting to these pathetic gatherings? It's time to step up and act like the men we're supposed to be instead of chasing after scraps at singles events. Listen up guys, I'm gonna lay it out straight. Avoid those singles events like the plague and join the bandwagon. When a man shows up at one of those meat markets, it screams desperation and lack of options. You're basically admitting you can't find a date on your own and need some money-hungry matchmaker to do the job for you. And let me tell you, women can sniff out that desperation from a mile away and they ain't gonna respect you for it. Real talk, fellas. A true man, a high-value man, doesn't need to resort to single events to get attention from women. Just like a classy, traditional woman doesn't need to stoop to that level to find a man. So do yourself a favor and step up your game. Don't be that guy desperate for a lucky break at some cheesy singles event. You're better than that. Singles events are done, and I'm happy that a lot of men agree on this. I believe that a good woman and a wife and mother quality woman will not be in a singles event because they are scarce and would have long been taken to the altar. That's all for today on Manhood. Remember to drop your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to hit that like button, click the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when a new video drops. Share this video with whomever you would like to watch it with. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Cheers.